Meet the humble Geobacter. Now this is a bacteria that when given waste, for example with Thanaway ions, can turn it into carbon dioxide, well that's a pity, that's a greenhouse gas, protons H+, not that much call for that, but it also makes electrons, and these electrons can be forced to go around a circuit and do work. Light a light bulb, for example. So this is a microbial fuel cell. This contains the geobacter, ethanoate ions and water. Now once that little guy gets to work on those ions, he's going to make the carbon dioxide, which is vented from the cell, the protons, the H plus ions, will move through the proton exchange membrane to the cathode and the electrons round the circuit to do some work. Now the clever thing is, is those protons meet up with the electrons and some oxygen from the air and then make harmless water. So you've turned basically waste into electricity, carbon dioxide and water. So this is the equation at the cathode to make the water molecules. And this is the least you need to know in the summary here. Microbial fuel cells use bacteria to generate electric current. Geobacter are suitable. The fuel for IB at least is the ethanoate iron. You've got to learn that equation. The bacteria digest the fuel producing those three products. Protons, electrons, carbon dioxide at the anode. Electrons go around the circuit, do some work. The hydrogen ions pass through this PEM and at the cathode the hydrogen ions, electrons and oxygen combine in the air to make water and this is a potential sustainable energy source. That's all rather clever.